In this race we will look at the top-selling desktop computers since 1979. Originally, Apple was a computer brand for hobbyists, similar to Raspberry Pi. But they quickly became a mainstream computer company with the introduction of the Apple II. The Sinclair ZX81 was underpowered for its time, with only 1 kilobyte of RAM and a 3.25 MHz processor. But its $99 price made it very popular. The VIC-20 from Commodore was highly successful, becoming the first computer to sell more than a million units. The Commodore 64 is touted as the most popular computer of all time. It included a 1 MHz CPU and of course, 64 KB of RAM. The first IBM PC came with a 4.77 MHz, 16-bit Intel processor, and 16 kilobytes of RAM. It was priced around $2,000. The NEC 9800 was Japan's answer to IBM's PC. It featured a 5 MHz Intel CPU, two display controllers and eight times more RAM for about the same price. The ZX Spectrum came with 16 kilobytes of RAM and a 3.5 MHz CPU. Its power and low price of $166 allowed it to become a popular household PC. The Amiga 500 made the leap to a 32-bit CPU at 7 MHz, and a whopping 512 kilobytes of RAM. It also supported 4,096 colors and had an internal 3.5-inch floppy drive, for only $700. The iMac was the beginning of a new era for Apple. It rescued the company from a series of flops and also ushered in a new design and marketing strategy. The Mac Mini was the first Mac to ship without a monitor or keyboard. Its focus was to attract PC users, but became the home theater computer for many. Although it is mostly used for specific applications in science, robotics and engineering, the Raspberry Pi can also be used as a desktop computer, making it the best-selling desktop computer to date. Its popularity has to do with its tiny size and price under $40.